Hey guys, I wanted to do a feature comparison video for you today on all of the unstructured tote style bags that have been made by Jujubee, starting with the um, Light 1.0, going to the Light 2.0, the Mighty Bee, and the Super Bee, just so you can get a different uh, an idea of the difference in size um, and some of the different features that are available. The Light 1.0, which I have here in the Pretty Tweet, and the Mighty Bee that I have in the sea glass print are um, discontinued um, styles of uh, unstructured totes uh, that were made by Jujubee. You can still get a hold of them, that's why I included them in the comparison. And then the Light 2.0 that I have in the Dancing Dahlias and the Super Bee on the bottom in the Cobalt Blossoms are current the current styles of unstructured tote bags that are offered by Jujubee. I have these um, lined up to hopefully that you can hopefully see um, the very, very big difference in size um, with these bags. Um, so starting with the um, Light 1.0 here, this is the smallest bag. Um, it is the shortest. I hope you can see, we'll kind of tilt this up for you here. Um, Super B, Mighty B, B Light 2.0, B Light 1.0. Um, and it is also the smallest um, width wise. So you can see the uh, light 1.0, 2.0, Mighty B, and Super B. Um, but this does have, as small as it is, some pretty cool features. Um, it has two pockets in the front that go uh, most of the way down the bag. Um, it is reversible, um, so you can actually flip this um, inside out, and then you would have, um, depending on which print you have, so this one would be silver um, with the accent um, being the print of the bag. So that's pretty cool. Um, it does not have any type of closure. Um, on top. It is an open bag. It does have a change pad pocket in the back. Um, this does come with a light change pad originally. It has, um, we'll call them flexible tote straps. Um, they uh, come tied, um, the ends here, like this, so you can tie them in different arrangements to wear it um, crossbody, and they are two separate pieces. Um, you can wear it crossbody. There are ways to tie it um, to do it more of a tote style. Um, or you can also use the slider clips like I have here um, to make the length um, adjustable. So I have this in a similar um, tote style as the rest of the bags for you guys to see. Um, so it does come with um, quite a bit of carrying options. And then for the inside of the bag, um, it is just open other than this zip pocket, which goes the um, full length side to side, and it does go all the way down. Um, but it is pretty narrow inside. Um, it is not uh, very wide. And to kind of show you the width difference between the 1.0 and the 2.0, this is the side panel piece here on the 1.0 and this is it compared to the 2.0. So the 2.0 is um, twice as deep here. All right, so we'll move the 1.0 out of the way. Um, this is the Be Light 2.0 and the Dancing Dahlias. Still has the two um, pockets that go down um, most of the length of the bag. There are no pockets on the back of this. Um, it does just come with tote straps. However, it has um, a little tab on either side that you can either clip a sold separately messenger strap directly to this or add D-rings and then clip the messenger strap to those D-rings. This does have a closure. It has a zip closure. Um, and then on the inside, it also has a zip pocket, but it um, does not go the full width side to side of the bag and it only goes about halfway down. So a lot less um, in the way of features on the Light 2.0, but much, much bigger size um, than the 1.0. And then we will move on to the Mighty Bee. Um, this was the first large um, unstructured tote offered by Jujubee. Um, it has three pockets um, in the front here. The um, two on the side go all the way down. The one in the middle goes about halfway down. Um, and all of these are open. It does have the tote straps, just like um, the other bags. It does not have a zip closure. It has a two snap closure. Um, and then on this uh, front side here, there is a pocket, um, only goes not quite, about almost halfway down. Um, pretty small pocket, but a pocket nonetheless. And then a similar pocket on the other side, and that is it for um, internal organization in this bag. And then on the back side, there is a 
pocket here. Um, it does not come with a change pad. The only one of these um, that did come with a change pad was the Light 1.0. However, you could purchase um, a sold separately change pad and it would fit in this pocket. It does go the full length of the back of the bag and most of the height. And that is it. Um, pretty simple, but a pretty good size bag. Um, size comparison to the Super B is fairly similar. Um, the Super B is just a smidge taller, um, not quite an inch, and then it's a little bit wider. Um, and then to see the slide panels. It's also a little bit deeper, the Mighty B versus the Super B. Um, so Super B is definitely a bigger bag than the Mighty B. And now for the Super B. Um, also three pockets in the front. Um, the two on either side go the um, full length of the bag. The one in the middle goes halfway just like the Mighty B. However, it is zippered and the one on the Mighty B was open. It does have tote straps. Um, does have the little tabs at the top for adding a messenger strap that is sold separately. The back also has a snap closure pocket um, that goes the full uh, width of the bag and most of the height. Again, this does not come with a change pad, but one would fit here. Um, then this, instead of having the snap closure like the Mighty B, this has a zip closure, uh, just like the B Light 2.0. You unzip it, the inside of the bag, you have two mesh pockets on one side and then a zip pocket on the other that goes about halfway um, down the bag. This bag also normally comes um, with a key leash that would be attached here. Uh, it's probably about this long. Um, it has been removed from this bag. The um, mama that owned this before me um, had cut it off. She didn't like it being on there makes no difference to me so I don't care that it's not on there but just so you know that is an extra feature that this has that um, actually none of the other um, light tote style um, bags have or unstructured I should say um, and that is it um, so all these bags have something to offer um, they're all great obviously I own them all um, but they are all different sizes um, with the Super B being the largest of the four bags and the Be Light uh, 1.0 being the smallest. Um, so I hope that gives you um, kind of a, a better idea of the size um, between these, because sometimes it's really hard to see in just pictures um, if you're looking at them individually, um, especially, you know, just the difference between the Light 1.0 and 2.0 is pretty significant, and that's really hard to see in pictures, or even just the um, Light 2.0 and the Super B. Um, it, they're pretty significant differences, and I think it helps to see that um, in person. Just also some of the features, um, especially for the older tube uh, style bags that are a little harder to find. Um, some people don't know um, about the features that they have. So again, hope that was helpful, and thank you so much for watching.